Welcome to another episode of Ugo Smokes. I'm your host, Ugo. The rains have finally subsumed here in Southern California. And as you can see, I got my background back. Yay, yay, yay. Yes, we needed the rain very much, but now let's get back to business. Today, I'm gonna be smoking the Pardagas Black Label in a six by 60 Gordo Gigante. And this is comprised of a Dominican broadleaf wrapper over Dominican and Nicaraguan long fillers. And as far as my previous experience with Partigas is none. So I'm excited to try this one out. Uh, right off the bat, let's take a look at the dark Maduro color wrapper that is just very toothy and veiny with several prominent veins there. Nice and tough to the touch. Um, the aromas that are coming off of the wrapper and the foot are mainly uh, sweet candy and a, like, like a light leather. So let's go ahead and cut this bad boy up and test the draw. I'm going to be using my, my guillotine cutter today. Moderately snug draw, which is kind of what I like. All right, let's toast her up. All right, right off the bat, this is a bold uh, flavored tobacco. Pepper and leather are the main components to the profile. However, the retrohale is very manageable, about a two out of 10, stinging on the sinus. The smoke is very creamy and chewy. On the retrohale, I'm getting sweet cream and light leather as a secondary note. So overall, uh, looks like this Maduro is burning pretty good. Let's go ahead and smoke it down to the first third and I'll be back for an update. Welcome back. I'm at the end of the first third of this Partigas. And as you can see, the burn line is a bit askew, but the ash is holding on. Nice white stacked ash. The smoke profile now has turned into uh, arid smoke, not creamy anymore. The retrohale is more manageable. It went down in uh, strength, but the cigar still is full flavored, um, full bodied. Definitely not for the faint of heart, uh, this uh, Maduro. As far as tasting notes, Still primarily pepper, leather, um, creamy on the retro hill. Uh, zero, a little bit to almost zero uh, nicotine, but the pepper is a little bit stinging in the back of my mouth. And also some cinnamon spice on the primary flavors. So let me keep smoking this down, past the second, third, well into the primary band, and I'll be back for an update. Welcome back. I'm at the end of the second third. This party is, as you can see, the burn line 
corrected itself rather nicely. The ash is still nice and white and stacked. And still lots of smoke. The primary flavors now are cedar, smoked barbecue, and still some leather. Uh, although the uh, flavor profiles turn a bit bitter. Um, also on the retro hill, the primary note is almond. The smoke is still um, airy textured. So yeah, um, that's all I have for the second third. Let me keep smoking this down as far as I can. And I'll be back for an update and my final thoughts on this Partigas, which by the way, has been burning for about an hour and 20 minutes now. It's a, it's a big boy, so gonna have some time for this one. All right, see you in a bit. Welcome back. I'm at the end of this Partigas Black Label. I actually had to touch it up there several times but on the other side the burn line is pretty straight the ash is nice and white and I have my homemade number still a uh, pretty good smoke production um, retro hail is still tolerable about Two out of ten stinging on the sinus so it's very manageable um, as far as the uh, tasting notes on this one right now it's a uh, chocolate like a dark chocolate um, pepper leather is back so I think the controlling um, note on this on this stick is leather still rich creamy almond on the retro hill um, so the price point for this cigar is uh, about 13 bucks for a single, 65 for a five pack, and 260 for a box of 20. Uh, some retailers have it uh, for about 265. You get a five pack of uh, sampler. Pretty good deal, huh? Um, it's been burning for exactly two hours, so it's a big boy. Okay, so the things I liked about this uh, Partigas is that it's a slow burning. Um, nice changes in the uh, profile. Um, although uh, the cons uh, for me is the uh, I had a, the burn line. I had to be touching it up too heavy on the leather. So for that, I'm going to rate it at least a five pack worthy. Um, if you're into leather, go ahead and try it out. Um, yeah, so that's all I have for this uh, party gets black label. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know if you've had any party gets lately because uh, it's not really a, a hot brand right now. But yeah, catch you on the next one.